Hey YouTube, it's uh, Elche here, and um, as you guys know, uh, there's been a lot of stuff in the news lately about this conflict between uh, Georgia and Russia over South Ossetia, if, if I pronounced that correctly. And of course, uh, you know, we've got McCain up there hawking it up, uh, you know, essentially making th threats or writing checks his ass can't cash yet. Uh, God, I hope he never can cash those checks. We'll be at war forever. Um, you know, not not really much better uh, coming out of Obama, but it is what it is. Oh, but uh, I'm actually I was kind of surprised. I, I got a uh, an email this morning from the Larouche Political Action Committee, and they're essentially their their take on it or Larouche's take on it is that. Uh, Russia was right to pretty much call the bluff of the United States of Britain. Say, look guys, we've still got nukes. We're not going to deal with you guys threatening us or uh, or trying to uh, antagonize us. Um, and they say that uh, that action essentially averted World War III. Now, I don't know if that's really the case. As far as I know, we're still sending ships over to uh, ships and aircraft over to Iran to effectively begin the blockade that was declared uh, and I think it's passing through the Senate right now. <clears throat> but um, nuclear world war World War One and World War Two were some of the uh, most brutal wars um, in the history of mankind, and they didn't have nukes. Uh, well, I mean, World War Two essentially ended because somebody finally got them, uh, and the idea that we're thinking about World War Three. And that this is really, you know, on the horizon here. It's, it's almost like it's an unstoppable force. And a lot of people have nukes now. Oh, just boggles the mind, man. What are, what are they thinking, you know? Where do these political entities get off thinking that any of us, uh, any of the people they claim to serve really give that much of a crap about what they're doing in Georgia or Russia or South Ossetia or Iran or Saudi Arabia or anywhere. I, I don't think Saudi Arabia really gives a like the Saudi Arabian public really gives a crap what we're doing over here. They're like, oh, cool, they buy a lot of oil. Right on. What's the hate? You know? It just doesn't make any sense. And I mean, of course, you know, obviously Saudi Arabia or, you know, the, the Middle East is ticked off at the US government and of course the US people by representation because we're you know sending troops over there all the time we've got um, you know military bases we had troops stationed in in their most holy cities and you know that's not cool man like it uh, why does the American government think that the American people want our troops everywhere all over the world poking everybody don't they understand that that will get us into more war and cost us more American lives, more American tax dollars, make us less popular around the world. I, if you're an American and you've traveled anywhere outside of the United States in the last, like, four years, you know it ain't pretty. Everybody might, you know, be smiles and, yeah, we'll take your money, whatever, but trust me, as soon as you leave, they're like, fucking stupid Americans. <laughs> Fuck your bush. <laughs> It ain't pretty, man. They don't, they don't like you guys out there. They don't like us out there. Oh, so it's a little brutal. And I just don't think that this whole South Ossetia, Russia, Georgia thing is really helping us at all, man. I, I so wish we had some candidates like Dennis Kucinich and, and Ron Paul, even Mike Gravel. You know, these guys are talking some truth, spitting it like it is. And uh, if they were up on those podiums and dealing with the situations that we're dealing with, 
you wouldn't be hearing the inflammatory rhetoric that you're getting out of the two primary candidates. You'd be hearing, well, yeah, that's a that's a conflict over there, and we'll have to keep a very close eye on it, but uh, it's not really our business, <laughs> you know. Um, I've you know I've heard uh, both sides of the story, and so far it sounds like Georgia was doing some kind of ethnic cleansing in South Ossetia. Georgia's government is essentially a, a puppet U.S. government. Um, and Russia is just kind of doing its thing, man. I, like, you know, it's, it's violent. It's war. Guess what? <laughs> but good Lord, you know? And then, oh, God, the hypocrisy. Oh, the hypocrisy. You got Bush and Condoleezza Rice getting up on podiums saying, Russia can't go and take over a sovereign nation for no reason. Hmm. But the United States can. <laughs> that's fucking retarded. Oh my God. Would somebody just oh, put these people in prison for being disastrously ignorant or just deviously destructive in everything that they do? I, I'm so sick to death of where our politics have gotten, man. And it's not even like it was the last, like, eight years alone. Like, Clinton was terrible. Bush Sr., horrid. God, like, I don't think there has been a time since I was born that I didn't understand that the United States government was corrupted. Just corrupted to the core. Did anybody else feel that way? I mean, I'm 30 years old. You would think, you would think that in 30 years I could at least have one one shining example like oh yeah that that one president man that that one congress yeah we were a great nation then no we weren't we haven't been for 30 years i've been living here in the united states and it's been just piss total crap but only politically people yeah the people are all right man i'll tell you what uh people from the united states are uh, really not so bad they tend to get a little stupid because we got a lot, a lot, a lot of entertainment here. And um, I, I don't think that the majority of Americans yet recognize the true cost of perpetual entertainment. Um, and just for a hint for all those Americans watching the video, the cost of perpetual entertainment is critical thinking. <laughs> so if you do the one, you are going to lose the other. Um, but whatever. All right, so that's that's my little rant about uh, Russia, Georgia, Ossetia, and uh, the American uh, response to that little debacle. Go Phelps. <laughs> See you guys later, man. Peace.